be wondering, how does so much of our plastic end up in the ocean? It all starts right here in your neighborhood. See all this trash on the street and the side of the road? It was likely thrown here by careless individuals and companies, or it could have been blown away from dumpsters and uncovered trash cans. Now, look here in the stream. Well, how did all that end up there? Let's go back to the street. See this? It's called a storm drain. In a lot of cities, the water that goes down these drains isn't treated like the water that comes out of our sinks or flushes down our toilets. It flows underground through pipes and straight into our local creeks and streams. Every time it rains, a lot of that trash from the street such as straws, plastic bags, and cups, gets washed down the drain. All your creeks and streams are part of what is called a watershed. This means that everything flows downstream into the biggest body of water, which could be a river or a lake. The river or lake connects to other streams and eventually leads to the ocean. This is how the straw you threw out your window in, let's say, Tennessee, can make it into the ocean and end up in a turtle's nose. What can you do? Clean it up. See if your city has an Adopt-A-Road or an Adopt-A-Stream program. Gather a few friends and the city will give you free supplies to clean up your neighborhood. Or you can go solo and pick up a few pieces of litter every time you walk down the street. Report it. A lot of cities also have anonymous litter reporting services. You just write down the license plate of the culprit, and the city will send them a warning letter or fine once you fill out a form on their website or call their hotline. Don't create it. Don't throw your trash on the street and make sure your trash is always properly covered and tied. Or better yet, try to create less trash. 